Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority app guy. We've been hearing about Google Play Games and Play Game Services since before Google I.O. It's been out for a little while now, and today we're going to show you what it's all about and tell you what it does. Okay, so let's start out with the bottom line here. What does this app actually do? What it does is act like a dashboard for all of your Android gaming needs. Think of it like an Xbox or a PS3 dashboard or even a Steam dashboard. It doesn't do anything cool on its own, but it gives you access to all of the things it do. So here's what it does. Using this app, you can view all of your games. If those games have Google Play Games support, you can also view things like your achievements. It'll show you all the games you've played, the ones you've played recently, and the ones you have currently installed. You can also browse featured and popular titles as well as multiplayer specific titles. You can view your friends on Google Plus who also use Google Play games. This is both a good and a bad thing. It's great if you have friends who play and you want to find them. It's bad when you have 1800 people in circles like I do and they all sign up for Google Play games and then don't play any games. There is the possibility of having a giant list of people who play no games. Really, that's about all it does. The things you can do from the app is useful, but the app itself is really just a graphical dashboard for gamers so they can find everything they need in one spot, whether it be games to play or friends to play them with. So you're probably wondering how you can use this app. Well, if you don't play games, you can't. This is for gamers only, and non-gamers will have a pretty difficult time finding anything useful about this app. For gamers, I pose this question. What do you use the Xbox dashboard for? You see what friends are online, and you see what they're doing, right? You can view the games you have downloaded, browse for more games, and launch games as well. That's pretty much what you can use this app to do. Probably the best use for this dashboard is finding multiplayer games, more specifically popular multiplayer games that use play game services and that people actually play. This is an epic improvement to Android if you're a social gamer. By social gamer, I'm not talking about spamming your friends with Candy Crush invites, but like actually play games online with real people. So here's what we liked. It's a great place to manage all of your Android games. Android has long needed something to kind of combine the Android gaming experience into one solid spot and this fills that hole perfectly. Mobile gamers now have an interface with which to build and enjoy their gaming networks. It's early on, but more and more games are adopting the play games philosophy. Before long, there will be achievements, cloud saves, and proper multiplayer available everywhere, all under the same play games dashboard. We find there's nothing wrong with that. We do like that it keeps track of all games, not just those that have play games features. Google still has a lot of work to do, but it's mostly little stuff. For instance, you can view achievements and friends who play games, but you can't narrow down your search for all your friends who play a specific game or view all your achievements all at once. It isn't that big of a deal, but some search filters and other ergonomic improvements would have been nice. The only other thing we didn't like is the people section doesn't get narrowed down based on who actually plays games. Instead, it seems to list everyone in your Google Plus circles whether they actually play games or not. We have a whole Google Plus app to pay attention to non-gamers who want to hashtag Catterday on Wednesdays. We felt that maybe those people should have been filtered out so we could pay attention to our gamer friends. Overall, this is a really awesome idea that's implemented, for the most part, really well. Giving gamers their own interface to track and interact their games games is kind of a must-have these days since PC gaming and console gaming both have similar dashboards for their gamers. Of course, there is always room for improvement. We really wish they'd filter non-gamers out of the contact list. Finding people who game is awesome, but scrolling through hundreds of people to find even one of those gamers is the opposite of awesome. So would we recommend it? Well, yes, it's free, and as the platform grows and improves, it will become an essential app for any mobile gamer. Just remember that the system isn't perfect yet. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority app guy. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you like this video, check out some of our other ones. Don't forget to check out the written companion to this video and the social media links in the video description. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.